Hey guys, welcome back to the journey for the SC200 Security Analyst Exam from Microsoft. Today we're going to take a look into Microsoft's Defender for Endpoint and we're going to look into managing and configuring device groups. If you haven't looked into what device groups are, in short and simple, you have a couple different ways in which you can statically or dynamically assign devices to management groups in Defender for Endpoint so you can take actions or there can be automated actions against it. So think for example, you want to have users that are cordoned off into a, let's call it an executive group, right? So we're not going to automatically take actions against the executive group because, well, let's be honest, we're just not, it's rare that we can put them in their own bubble. Um, so usually we make that a static group and that will be more manual actions. We'll have that assigned to like our tier two SOC. We'll have them under very tight permissions, but we also want to make sure we don't you know, kick them off the network or make their computer unusable um, without great justification. Whereas we can have dynamic groups, say we have a set of, you know, tier one, these are all frontline workers. If these all get automatically resolved, incidents happen on these, we don't really care, right? We just want to make sure that they're cleaned as soon as possible, as soon as we find an incident or risk, right? So we have abilities and capabilities in what's called autom automated incident response, and we can have it. Um, cleaned it right away so let's dive in real quick so simply put in enterprise scenario security operation teams are assigned a set of devices right we can assign them like I said either statically or dynamically and the really cool thing about that is you can have the automated remediation level based so you could have a live response you could have hey I want to send a scan or you know I want to completely block it off from the network so we don't have any um, lateral movement on the devices. I think it, having those options to set different scales of automated response is a really cool feature that you don't see often. So we're going to go over kind of the manual instructions and then we're going to dive into it. So to create a device group, right, we're going to go to settings, endpoint permissions, and device groups. We'll have create a device group, really straightforward, right, and we can preview the devices even and then we can simply manage it. So let's dive in. Alright guys, let's take a look. We are back into the Microsoft Defender Security Center. Uh, let's take a look into the settings plane, right? So, we go to settings. And we go to endpoints. And we're going to go to roles, right? So we have device groups, render permissions, roles, device groups. So we don't have any device groups created yet. So let's get one created. So we're specifying name, big fan of using the word test. So start remediation level, right? So here's our options. We can do no automated response. We can do semi, require approval for all folders. Semi, require approval for non-temp folders. Semi, require approval for core folders. Full, remediate threats automatically. So like I said, for the executives, we might do semi, require approval for all folders. And then for others, we might just do a full, just depends on the users. So for this one, in this case, we're gonna do semi, we're going to description is going to be a test. So we have the option to either set a name, right? So we can start whatever name starts with. And we can do contains. Uh, I think I have, let's see. Uh, do and let's see, ends with. End with one. Next, so basically any machine that contains the words SRV and ends with a one, we're gonna see if it collects. So preview should be one. Yeah, picks up my one machine. We're gonna hit next. And so it's a user group assigned to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Administrator will have access to all device groups. Right. So for user groups, I think I have a security group. It needs to be an Azure AD group. So you have no Azure AD groups available. So you make sure you always have one available first. So we're gonna create an Azure AD group so we can go to roles and settings and create one. Turn on roles. So we can go in this role and we can hit next. And give it to our user group. Uh, we're gonna give it to the IT department and hit submit.
We just want to make sure it's assigned. We got to add it. We're going to select it, hit submit. 